one million people in the state of Washington could either lose coverage or face more expensive insurance if the Affordable Care Act gets thrown out. King 5's Drew Mickelson talked with a Seattle mom who fears the feds and even the state government won't be able to bail her out. Drew. Well, Mark, the pandemic has made people a lot more reliant on their health insurance, and it has blown a multi-billion dollar hole in the state's budget. So for people like Kelly Powers, she doesn't want to think about life without Obamacare. Well, in 2011, I believe it was, um, we suddenly realized that our premiums were exceeding our mortgage payment here in Seattle. The Powers family relies on dad's carpentry business to pay the bills. But in 2012, rising health care costs for the self-employed carpenter had the family looking to the Affordable Care Act for coverage. Daughter Ruby is now in college, Frida's in high school. And after emergency room visits, foot surgeries, and mom's double detached retina procedures, the ACA's been good to the family. What if it all goes away? Devastating. I mean, basically, we'd have to use up our savings to get on the independent market. We would be so exposed in the meantime, too, um, because of COVID especially. We would be having major, major problems with hundreds of thousands, if not a million people, having very unaffordable health insurance coverage. State Senator David Frock says the state has some protections in place, especially for those with pre-existing conditions. But he says there's only so much the state would be able to do, considering throwing out the ACA would cost Washington more than $4 billion in federal funding. And the state, I don't think, could make up that difference in cost, uh, given our own budget uh, problems right now. It's a nail biter. It's definitely a nail biter. While Kelly Powers and her families wait for a Supreme Court ruling, they're making sure they get all their medical questions asked, have their checkups, and refill their prescriptions while they still have coverage. Yeah, just make sure all your ducks are in a row because we don't know what's going to happen. And hope you don't get sick. And hope you don't get sick, which is very scary during a, a global plant pandemic that's ratcheting up even as we speak. That state senator says if Obamacare were to get thrown out, he's at least glad that President-elect Biden will be in the White House, but he says Congress would still need to negotiate some kind of a new deal. And he said that could leave a lot of people waiting for a long time. In Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.